So the Battlefield 2042 open beta is sadly come to a close. The next time we can play it will be the full launch in November. So I've been playing this game since the early access stage of it and I've had the chance to use all the guns quite a lot and some of them are overpowered, some of them are just underwhelming and some of them are just in between. Suppose like the free, uh, the free bear story, Goldilocks and the free bears if I remember that fairy tale right but yeah, but I thought it'd be fun to make a tier list on all nine weapons, I believe it was, during the Battlefield 24 open beta. So, let's get right into this. Also, bearing in mind that I'm only basing this on the open beta, and solely only the open, open beta, because all these guns are most likely going to get changed, nerfed, buffed, or just completely reworked before the game actually fully launches. So, let's get into this. So, the first gun we have is the SWS-10, I believe it's called the Sniper Rifle. I'm not gonna lie, this was such an underwhelming sniper to use and it's not really fair to blame this entire sniper. I feel like sniping just feels really droopy in this game in terms of the bullet drop off just... I thought it would have been a lot better than Battlefield 4's. Don't get me wrong, Battlefield 4 sniping is very satisfying and good, but the bullet velocity was bad. It, it really was. During the time it came out, it was amazing, but Obviously, now that it's been eight years since that, it, it, it hasn't aged well, so I was hoping that... Oh God, I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth, but I was hoping it would be something a wee bit more down the lines of Warzone. Not saying that I want Battlefield to be anything like Warzone, but I was hoping it would be able to travel faster with still bullet drop, but you have to... I mean, I've had to aim at players to the point where they weren't even on my scope because I was aiming up so high and dragging it so far forward. So, I think I'm going to have to give the sniping, I think, a, uh, a D. I would have put it in C, but for a long range sniper rifle, it's only good at close to close medium. I mean, that's about it, really. I've had to aim it, I had to hit, you know, aim so high above people's heads at ranges that you just shouldn't have to. So, I think D is fair for at least this one sniper. Hopefully, that's not the worst sniper. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully, that is the worst sniper and. There's far better snipers out of the gate once this game fully launches. So the next gun we've got is the pump action shotgun, the MCS 880 I believe it was called. This gun was just weird. It was the only shotgun we got, same with the sniper, only sniper rifle and yeah it was a kind of a hit or miss really. You know that shotguns in general especially pump actions but yeah this gun I've got to admit this gun slapped like crazy, like slug rounds. I'm making a whole video on the open beta slug rounds for this because I find that it was I find it was broken to a certain degree. But yeah, the whole shotgun as a whole did its job a wee bit weird. The hip fire box for it needs to be a lot better in my opinion as well. But I feel overall an S or oh, sorry, not an S, a C tier would be appropriate. Nothing special, nothing bad. It was just kind of a weird experience with this. If you know, you know. But moving on to the next gun as well, we have this, which I believe is called, let me have a wee look, the PBX45. I used this a little bit, but after testing the the Vector quite a lot and testing this a bit, no, I, I just don't like this gun. It's got a slow rate of fire, it seems to have more hit markers, and yeah, the Vector just outperformed this. Uh, uh, outperforms this in every way as well, which I don't get. I think the Vector's 9mm and this is 45 ACP, so technically at ga gamer logic this should do more damage, but it just doesn't feel like it. So I'm going to put it in the E category. It, it, it wasn't a, a trash gun, it was just only having the two options and having that Vector there, which we'll get into in a, sec in a second, it just didn't I just, I feel like I'm just picking this gun just for the sake of punishing myself, really. Hopefully it gets a buff and, yeah, if not, I don't see this gun getting used unless it has some crazy attachments within the game's launch, which I just don't see happening. So the next gun on the list is <laughs> the Glock 18 Come Dripped. No, it's, it's the G57, I believe this was called. So I actually quite liked this pistol, the first couple of days I didn't bother because of the other pistol which again we'll get into, but after changing the free round blast with a red dot sight, this gun is extremely good, especially if you're using a gun that's not fully automatic. 
using this with something that's semi-automatic pump action or ball action is a good you know backup life as well to get some serious rounds down range as well decent damage quite easy to use not that high of a skill gun and depending on what your loadout was during the open beta this could even be your primary gun um, I think I think um, B tier would be fair for this. Oh, B tier or A tier? Oh God! I, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to put B tier. I think B tier is fair. Really good gun, solid and free round burst. Oh, if you really wanted to single fire as standard, really good. I think the reason it's not getting A tier is I think this could have done with some extra attachments. The fact that it was all, literally only red dot sight, no other type of ammunition, no barrel threads of any description and or different magazine sizes. It, it was just nothing. It was just red dot sight or iron sights and that was it. So I think B is fair. So the next gun on the list, ah here we go, it is the M30 or M10. I know it changed to one or the other. I don't know if it's the M30 or the M10 now, I can't remember. But yeah, that this this gun slapped like absolute crazy, it was ridiculous. Granted, extreme close and close range, which again, this is where you would really want to be using this. Definitely beyond busted. Every vector in every game seems to be busted, and this one's no different. Anything from medium to long range, obviously you can forget it, the recoil on it, and plus the damage and so on and so forth, and the bullet drop, absolutely pointless, so... Yeah, I think this gun's going to get a nerf. I think S tier is definitely the place for this. You know, for this gun being designed for close range in real life and for video games, it definitely does the job. It slaps like crazy, hip fire is ridiculous, the rate of fire is ridiculous, you can mince meet people, especially if you're landing consistent headshots, it, it's ridiculous. Would not be surprised if this gets a nerf even before the game's launched. Crazy, crazy gun. So the next one is the AK-24, I believe it's called. Not gonna lie, I think this is my least used gun because I was getting sick to death of reattaching my attachments every time I died and getting buggy field 2042 or broken field 2042 beta for sure. Um, yeah, it, it performed good, I really liked it. In fact, I actually preferred this over the M. Um, what is it? Let me have a wee look. What gun was it? Oh, I'm forgetting all the names. The M5A3, I think it was called, the other assault rifle. I actually preferred this over this, but it was so incredibly frustrating trying to, we well are not trying to, but having to put three different types of attachments on every time you had respawned in. But no, the gun itself, um, where would I place this? I think B tier is good for me, in my honest opinion. It was a great gun, no complaints whatsoever. It was, apart from obviously the weapon issue, it really needs to be fixed, and I'm sure it will be, but yeah, the gun was good, just sad about the attachments. So the next one, oh Jesus Christ, the M44 mag. Right, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I'm more sure the 44 Magnum is for a fact in real life a double action revolver. For anyone who doesn't know the difference between a single a single action and a double action, single single action means you have to cock the hammer on the gun to get the cylinder to rotate itself and the trigger just pulls the trigger. A double action revolver the trigger actually cycles the cylinder and also pulls the hammer back as well. I hope I'm getting that right or someone that roasted in the comment section. The 44 Magnum in Battlefield 4, you know, it used to be go bind, 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 but this one it's like bind, cock, bind, cock, and it actually does less damage overall than the old one. It's more painfully slow. Battlefield 4, if you hit anyone in the, in the head without any range, you're killing them, end of story. Not the case with this. The 44 Magnum scoped as well in the Battlefield 4. If you were a veteran, you got the three times scope with this. It was just a, a really thin, basic black cross sniper scope. Worked perfectly. This is some sort of really chunky neon holographic ACOG. It's just so brutal to use. And the blur outside of the scope was just ridiculous. The gun. I mean, I sniped someone out of a heli with it. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. It's really good sometimes, but to use as an actual gun consistently. Oh, this pains me. This is my favourite gun in Battlefield 4, but I'm going to have to give this an E. Uh, it's not getting an F, but 
if what I'm saying is right that this acts as a single action revolver when this gun's is a double action revolver, they need to change that because they the fire rate, the damage and everything, and even when you're cocking it back, it changes. You get two different types of recoil. You get the gun firing, then you get the gun rechambering. It's really awkward to use. I would rec you don't even get red dot sight, you get the three times or four times scope iron sights and you get normal ammo and armor piercing ammo. If you're using this, if I don't fix anything during the normal game release, yeah, use the iron sights on it or red dot if you get it. So I believe we have two more guns, I believe. Ah, the DM7, I believe it's called. Let me have a wee look. I'm going to have to change the damage off so this is way too big. Uh, let me change it down. Here we go. Is it fitting in? Just a wee bit smaller. Ah, perfect. Is this called the DM7? Let me have a wee look. Yep, DM7. This was the only DMR within the game. Used it a little bit, not as much as other guns, but yeah, this gun for a DMR felt really good, but not OP or outright strong. This has a capped fire rate, so you just can't spam it. The recoil control is pretty easy. The damage is about 3 to 4, which I think is fair at medium to long combat as well. The headshot damage multiplier seems to be really good as well. Great different few, different, ugh, great different attachments on it as well, so um, I think I'm going to put this in the A tier. I think this is deserving of this. Definitely a great gun, great semi-automatic gun. The only thing is, of course, is you're going to get outperformed with a lot of guns up close range, so you've really got to force yourself to keep it medium to long range, for sure. Great gun, no complaints. The only reason it's not getting S tier is because I feel like if it was a guaranteed 2-3 to three hit, it would probably get S tier, which would make it maybe broken, but it seems to be 3-4 to four hit to the chest. So, yep, great gun, no complaints. The final gun on the list is the, M the LCMG. The only light machine gun within Battlefield 2042's open beta. Let me get this into size real quick. Here we go, smashing. Yeah, this gun um, seems kind of busted, I'm not going to lie. Some, there were, there were odd occasions going, yeah, I should have killed him. How did they survive so many hit markers? But yeah, th this gun overall with the a and armor piercing rounds and the grip and everything, yeah, it, it, it just slaps like crazy. I'm putting it straight up here. I've seen myself, others, p people I was playing with in random was go on 60 plus, not kill streaks, but maybe potentially a 20 kill streak with this, but getting 60 to 100 kills within a single game just solely using this, and maybe some handguns and grenades and stuff, but. I would say at least 70% of all their kills were coming from this, this gun I think is going to get nerfed. Usually LMGs in Battlefield games are, yeah they're good, but eh, they're like whatever, you know, it's, yeah, they're good, they help, they, they kill people, they're not that difficult to use, but yeah, the fact that you could spray 100 rounds of the armour piercing into a vehicle and, you know, easily hit someone if you were skilled enough, the, the armour piercing rounds do absolutely he highly and F all damage to vehicles. I stuck a hundred rounds into a little bird, never missed a shot of the hundred. I think I did something like between something like 30 and 40 damage, making it 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 damage per bullet. They're great for punching through, hitting enemies and vehicles so you're not losing any bullet damage or you can actually hit them, maybe some ammo just can't punch through it in, in general. So yeah, definitely different an S tier for sure. But there we go, I think that's all the weapons covered. I'm more than sure there's only nine, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, yes. Unless I'm being alphabetic dyslexic, I think there was definitely only nine guns in the game. But yep, here we go, that's that's my honest personal take on everything as well. And for all the primary and secondary weapons, I'm quite disappointed we didn't get to see more weapons. I was hoping for at least three of every gun, but some categories we only got once. For the snipers, the shotguns and the DMRs, we only got one, sadly. But yep, thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Please comment down below if you agree or disagree with this. I would like to see your opinions and see what your tier list would be as well. And again, can you help um, can you help small content creators like me by hitting the like button, subscribing, hitting the bell notification. 
it really helps push our content out there and get more noticed. Even during the Battlefield 24 open beta time, but I mean, during the beta time, I've been drawn quite a lot as well, so we seem to be on a good roll and hopefully we can keep up. My goal would be to hit 700 subscribers by Christmas time, which would be the best Christmas present ever. So thank you very much to everyone who's been watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell notification, share my content. And again, my Twitter and my Reddit will be in the description as well, followed by a couple of other links as well. So I know I've said it one more, one too many times, but thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. I've had a blast on the open beta. I'm making a video of all the pros and cons and, and other Battlefield 24 problems that no one's noticed they're talking about, par me. So that'll be coming sometime within the next seven days from this being uploaded, probably sooner. So I love you all and I will see you on the battlefield.